Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to take a look at the contents of Warcry. So, it's going to be available to pre-order in one week, which is disastrous for many of us. Let's be honest, pour one out for the people who've bought a Chaos Knight and want this, because that is one hell of an expensive month for hobby. Oh my god. I honestly think I might have to wait. I might regret it, but I've already got a Knight, and I've already bought two Dreadnoughts, and now, now this... Given the contents of this box as well, I don't know how much this is going to cost, but I feel like I feel like it could be up there. I feel like it could be actually pretty pricey. I'm really hoping not, but let's take a look at what we've got in this box because there's a, there's a ridiculous amount of stuff in here. It's, it, it's ludicrous. It's good, but Jesus. So, the starter set. As you can see, dear Lord, this has got to be one of the most packed boxes that Games Workshop has done for quite a bit. I mean... The Adeptus Titanicus was it the Grandmaster Edition? That that was that was pretty big. Also very expensive, but that was a pretty big box. The sheer amount of scenery alone in this box is is pretty crazy, to be honest. I mean, there's a good amount of stuff in there, and when you get a look at the scenery properly by itself, which we'll have a a look at now. So as they say, massive box set. It's huge. They're no, they're not wrong. It really is. Two war bands. It's the Untamed Beasts and the Iron Golems, which is fine. And uh, you get a bunch of Chaos Beasts. And look at this scenery. Look how nice that is. That's nice. That's nice scenery. I really like the look of that. It's... I mean, I'm looking at it and I'm failing to justify not buying this one. Even though I know I need to wait and I shouldn't. Partially because I'm looking at it going, okay, I like that. And obviously, it's going to be... I'd have thought pretty integral to the way Warcry plays, but also I could totally use that for a bunch of D&D stuff and it'd be so easy for it to be multi-purpose and I, I can't think like that, and yet I absolutely am. So the scenery alone, there is a good amount in there, and to be honest, I like the, I especially like the look of this because it looks real easy to paint, like really, really easy to paint. You could get away with just doing a base coat, doing essentially just a second coat of whatever you fancy, giving it a wash and giving it a dry brush, and you would have a nice-looking board for pretty much anything. I mean, let's face it, it's not just going to be for Warcry. You can use it for, for any game you fancy, but it looks very easy to work with. There's lots of nice details in there that are not going to take really any effort to pick out at all, which for me is that's the mark of great scenery, where you don't have to spend forever painting it, you can just blast it out real quick and have it look, you know, decently good. It feels like this is exactly like that, where especially the, the like the, the kind of stone sections would not take a lot of effort to get looking pretty damn good very quickly. So yeah, there's that there's all the scenery. There's the there's the different war bands, of course. So the Iron Golem and the uh the Untamed Beasts, which still look grand. I'm still loving the weird chain link beard off that helmet. Still, still funny. He also really loves hammering things. Who, you know, who wouldn't like that guy? And uh, of course, the uh, the untamed beast, still fully barbarian, which is excellent. But there's also just the sheer number of chaos beasts you get with it as well. I kind of thought we'd see a couple, but getting, I mean, it looks like six of those, and then another six of them. That's that's a pretty hefty number of models in this box. I mean, that's 12 just little beasties by themselves before you even actually get to the warbands themselves, which is what the game's based around. That combined with the scenery is a lot of shit for one box. I've no idea how much this is going to cost, but it could be quite... It could be pretty pricey. I'm just really hoping it isn't. Extra points, by the way. Extra points in light of the Sylvanas Collector's Edition dice. Extra points for making the Warcry dice actually usable. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the Sylvanith dice, but they are... It's like someone sat down and went, how do we make dice worse? Oh, two different symbols for the one and the six that are not really... That, like it's, it's not like massively obvious as to which is which. And then all the numbers, you have to count the leaves on the stick that is shown on the dice. Yeah, let's do that. Not good. Just standard... Just standard, but with a Warcry symbol for a 6, absolutely fine. Way better. Totally usable. Wouldn't mind if someone, like, pulled those out and started playing with... That's 
the wrong phrasing to use. I wouldn't mind if someone rocked up to a game with those dice. That'd be fine. Just stay away from the silly stuff. Metric shed load of, uh, of, of cards, obviously, to keep track of all of your stuff, of which there will be a lot, by the look of things. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a decent box. The question is, of course, how much is this thing going to cost? I would like it to be kind of consistent with things like Blackstone Fortress, but I don't know if it will be, just because of the sheer amount of scenery in there. There's obviously the, the rules, a bunch of stuff for open play and all that kind of thing. And, something I quite like as well, there's going to be the rules for other factions too. So as you can see, it's Flesh Eater Courts and there's Iron Jaws. They're also going to be releasing the Cypher Lords pretty much straight off the bat, which is nice. Doesn't mean you be able to buy those separately. So if you like those models but don't particularly want Warcry itself, they are going to be available separate, which is, which is, which is good. Let's be honest, more bits for conversions and just being able to grab the thing you want without having to buy the full game. I'm always going to be happy with that. So, yeah, and there is a little bit cheeky repackaging going on here. I thought this seemed familiar when I first saw it. I was like, what? Corpse Rack Ma Mausoleum. Is that not something that's already available? It is. This is already some Age of Sigmar scenery, uh, if, unless I'm very much mistaken, which I don't think I am. I think, though, by the look of things, it looks like this comes with its own board. Like, you could see before, there was, like, a foldable game board that came with the scenery, I'm wondering if this isn't the case for this as well, in which case that makes it a bit better. I mean, to be honest, utilising scenery that's already, you know, that already exists, if it, even if it has its own special rules and stuff, if you've already got that scenery for Age of Sigmar, being able to utilise that for Warcry and stuff, that, I'm not going to complain about that either. I mean, being able to use stuff you already own for a new game is always a nice thing to do. If it comes with things like an actual little game board that just increases the usability of it, that's kind of cool. That would be good. So yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch of rules for Stormcast, Daughters of Cain, Ideneth Deacon, Nighthorn, Iron Jaws, Gloomspite Gates, Legions of Nagash, Flesh Eater Courts, and Bone Splitters. So there'll be all of that stuff, which again, I was a little bit concerned at the start where it was like, okay, I love the fact it's all chaos. The fact it's all chaos is great for me. I'm happy with that. But what about people who already have like a bunch of stuff that's Age of Sigma, but not necessarily... Like, Warcry, are they not going to be able to use their models? It'd be fun if they could. Yes. Yeah. So, again, the support for existing models and what looks like support for existing scenery, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good so far. So, it looks like a properly good box. There's a ridiculous ruler that bends round corners, which is nice. But the overall contents of this thing is just... It just seems crazy good. I, I'm as I say, the price point is the only thing that's worrying me right now because the price point could be steep. When you look at the amount of scenery, the number of models, all the tokens, the counters, the cards, the core book, the the like the foldable game map that comes with it, the dice like that's a lot of stuff in one box. I would really hope that it is about kind of Blackstone Fortress price, but I also would not be surprised if it isn't significantly more expensive than that because there is just so much in there. I think this is one of those ones where you you can't complain about a lack of like a, a, a lack of content for your money because there's just so much shit in it. Be interesting to see how much it is. No matter how much it is, to be totally honest, it's really hard to be sensible about this because I really like the look of this. I like the way it's presented. I like the way they've done this first this first box, this starter set. I would hope that it would be a reasonable starter set, but you just get so much in here. Just got to pray. Pray that it's not massively, massively pricey, because that would be a shame, because this looks like something that they're going to be putting a whole, a whole shed load more effort than they already have into it, and whilst it remains supported, it just looks pretty damn good. So... That is the the uh, starter set for Warcry, which will be up for pre-order next week. And really, we've just got to wait and see. But the contents, I would argue, are pretty damn good. The scenery's nice. The uh, the board there that you get with it also looks pretty good. The number of models is way more than I thought it would be. I honestly thought we'd see maybe one or two little Chaos Beasties. Having six of each of those is pretty big, to be fair. And 
I am especially chuffed with the design of of that scenery as a whole. I don't. It might be that that stuff they've already used for Age of Sigmar before that I just don't recognise. But it's that looks like the scenery at least is something I reckon you could get done in the day, and you'd be free then to just you know smash out the war bands. Looks like a decent starter set. What do you reckon of this? Does it look good? Does it look like it's going to be too expensive? Do you think they're going to try and keep the cost down? Are you happy with all the contents of it? Do you think there's enough in there to keep you occupied straight off the bat? Or do you reckon you'd plough through that lot pretty quickly? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things. Patreon, video, subscribe, all that shit. Click it if you like. And don't if you don't want to. There's also an affiliate link in the description for Element Games. Where if you click that and buy something, I get a little something. And you save between 15 and 25% off pretty much all 40k Age of Sigma every other tabletop game known to man. You can click that if you like, but you don't have to. It's up to you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.